Politics Office. The search for Osama bin Laden is... And the Taliban leader Mullah Omar. And reports suggest that while there's no clue about the whereabouts of the former, the latter might be hiding in a village in the mountains a hundred miles away. It's understood the Americans might be preparing a ground assault, although it's also understood that local tribal leaders might have been negotiating with Mullah Omar to persuade him to surrender. But while the Americans are still mopping up at the end of the war, in Kabul, international forces have begun to arrive to help guarantee the peace. Senior officers from 16 countries have arrived to join British troops already on the ground to assess what role they can play. Among the British contingent, a female squadron leader who said she'd been generally made welcome by the Afghans, even though most women here still wear burqas. I do get a double take from, from the women from behind their burqas, I think, um, but uh, I, I, I hope as the recovery process in Afghanistan continues that they'll, become more, that they'll get more forthcoming. Details of exactly who will do what job still haven't been finalised, but senior officers say they're making progress. So far, it's lead contingents of the British Army who have established themselves here in Kabul. And the task of coordinating 16 other nations in assisting in that role will be formidable. But it's now predicted that the full international peacekeeping force will be here by the second week in January. Tim Rogers, ITN, Kabul.